Heath has always been about doing the right thing. He's always been about uh, self-control, self-discipline, and he's been motivated from the standpoint that he not only excelled in athletics in high school, but he was an entrepreneur at the same time. Uh, set up and operated a successful car washing business while he was in high school. Set his goals early in life and has has accomplished those through the years. I came to work for him when I got old enough in this car wash business, so it didn't take long, and so uh, he fired me after about uh, about a week, and he said I'd, fa he'd, I'd fallen asleep in the car while we was cleaning the car inside, that, that I'd fallen asleep, so he fired me. So um, I got to stand across the street and, uh, and tell people not to go to his car wash. My main respect for Heath uh, lies in the fact that Heath is such a dedicated family man. Uh, Heath uh, is dedicated to his wife Nicole, the two children, Navy and Island, uh, and his many successes have never changed that. Uh, he's uh, just the epitome of, of a great character, fine Christian gentleman, and uh, a, a great American all around. Well, I almost think it's, well, how could they not? You know, he's everything that you want in a young man and a person and a leader and a father uh, and an example to the community, involved in the community. Um, you know, he, 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 he goes out of his way to impact people's lives, particularly young people. Uh, you know, he's a great husband, father, you know, all those things you're proud of. Heath was really one of the first athletes I remember at the University of Tennessee who really took upon community service in a serious manner when it wasn't the, wasn't the vogue thing to do. He just did it. And Dave would bring more to my office and we'd line up somewhere and he'd go. And the joke was, if you can't get someone to go, call Heath. He's got a very good value system uh, that he's developed over the years and abides by it. Uh, you know, I could go on forever talking about the good things I know about Heath, uh, but uh, he's, uh, he's a pretty well-rounded citizen. Uh, Heath is... Uh, a perfect exam uh, example of the kind of man uh, the Boy Scouts hope to produce. Uh, uh, honest, hardworking, uh, and uh, uh, just a kind uh, a person, a, a patriotic citizen. And so uh, um, that's, uh, I, I can't think of anybody more appropriate for the Scouts to honor. To set up a block on that cornerback, and once he got the block, it was Schumer around the left side, and he streaks downfield to the seventh, a 16-yard gain. It's first down Tennessee as the third quarter is history. He always had time for an autograph. Um, any kids that would come by, he would stop and take some time for an autograph. I never saw once that he turned down an autograph. He would take extra time to be able to meet with the kids um, unless he is taken away by someone else. He, he never turned down an autograph. And I, um, I look up to that. That was um, something. You know, in life, there's really two types of people. You've got energy takers and energy givers. Heath is an energy giver. He elevates everybody around him. His first year and my first year, we were playing Georgia. Uh, like the second or third ball game of the year. They were 21 point favorite and we have uh, led or, or been ahead until the end of the ball game and now we're behind and just a couple minutes left in the game. We had a fourth and 11 that we had to make and uh, we pretty much knew what we were gonna call but we called timeout and Heath came to the sideline and, and uh, remember I'm new to this and, and he's just full of confidence and and then just lots of energy and he gets there to the sidelines and I'm talking to David Cutcliffe and I said, you know, David, we agreed on what we were going to call. Coach uh, Cutcliffe calls the play of, uh, he said, I want to call uh, a certain play and everybody looked at it, it was uh, 62 Meyer. And we kind of looked at each other and said, oh, it's going to work. And I told Heath and he reached around and patted me on the rear end and said, Coach, we got this, you know, just 100% confidence. and. And he starts back to the huddle, and I said, David, did you see him just pat me on the rear end on national television here? And then you just couldn't imagine the intensity of that moment. And he made it light, went back there, threw a 15, 14 yard completion, and we go on and win the ball game. But, you know, that's just Heath Shuler. He's uh, the dynamic and the, and, the, and the exceptional is just part of his life. Back to throw on fourth down 13. 
Schuler across the middle, completes to the 20. With the football down, he goes to the 17 yard line. I'm Condrich Holloway here in the victorious Tennessee locker room with Heath Schuler, and I've seen a lot of games, but I've never seen a young man come through and do the things you did today. I haven't seen very many like him. The reason being, there's a lot of great athletes that are good, fast, quick, but there's not very many guys that are good, fast, quick, and big. Keith was a very big quarterback, strong, and uh, it, he was more like hitting a linebacker than a quarterback. And now the, the, the quarterbacks that are large and mobile, like the kid from Ohio State, they don't run like Heath did. I mean, they're straight line guys that try to bowl you over because they're 230 pounds, but Heath was a bigger guy, a muscular guy that can make you miss, and he was more like a running back, and uh, very good at his position. Fakes the give, rolls to the near side, may run, he will. He's at the five, four, three, two, one. Yes, 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 give him six. Touchdown, Heath Schuler. He's a, a gentleman that has worn many hats. Uh, not only has he been an outstanding football player, both as a college player and with the Washington professional team, uh, Heath has uh, also done very well politically and in the business world. He was our first poster boy for Friends of Great Smoky Mountain National Park, Friends of the Smokies to, to most people. And um, that was one of the first fundraisers for that organization. It was very successful in 1994. And today he serves on the board of directors for Friends of the Smokies. Perfect image. Uh, uh, since that organization is made up of North Carolinians and Tennesseans who support uh, the nation's most popular national park. I, I think um, he's able to work with a lot of people. He can, he can show people the way um, through his leadership, through his character. Um, this one thing about Heath, when you see him, um, what you see is, 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 is a true person. It's something that um, his character is, is beyond, um, is very high. He went into politics and did a you know, wonderful job as a, uh, a congressman in the 11th district of North Carolina. You know, to have served in the, in the Congress, that's not, a, that's not a, just a thing that somebody gives to you. He earned the opportunity to do that and he did it you know, really, really well. He made us all, you know, all proud from that standpoint. So um, there are no blemishes on, on Heath's, uh, Heath's uh, reputation or, or his, his, his contributions to to this part of the world, actually. You know, when I think of Boy Scouts, I think of uh, people that make good decisions. It's the good guys, if you will. And when you look back at Heath's career, and, and by no means is his career one that's old by any means, because I consider him still to be a young person. But when you look at his self-discipline and the decisions he's made, it's great when the good guys win. He manifests a lot of things that I think Boy Scouts espouse. He is honest. He, he, is, he, he works at what he does. He's achieved a good education. Uh, he uh, you know, helps other people in lots of different ways. Uh, and I, th I think he's just a well-rounded citizen that they can say to the, these young scouts, look, this is what we would like for you to be like and, and be honest about it. Heath, congratulations on such a, a nice honor. It cannot go to a better person. You're a great representative that all of us should look up to. Congratulations, Heath, on your award. You embody what Boy Scouts of America is all about. Congratulations. Heath, you've been a, a great influence on the people of North Carolina and Tennessee, and I'm grateful for that. Uh, Joe Benny, Marge, I know how proud they are to see this day come when you've been declared the distinguished citizen of, of this community. Uh, I know you're proud of that. I'm proud of that. Uh, to Navy and Island, congratulations for having the great family that you have. And to my dear friend Benji, your brother, uh, congratulations as well. I know that this is an honor to the entire family. Heath, congratulations on the Boy Scouts Distinguished Citizen Award. It couldn't happen for a nicer young man. It couldn't happen to somebody that I have more respect for. You've been wonderful to be uh, as, a, as a counterpart and as a friend and somebody that I love dearly and our family loves dearly. And God bless you, Vicki, and I send our love to you and Nicole and everybody, and we look forward to seeing you.